Welcome to today's lesson. I'm Samasaka Kriyan Dens. So I'm going to take you through a lesson in physics where I'm going to look at the addition of uh, actually resistors. So we go straight into the lesson for today. Uh, basically, as I indicated, uh, we are looking at the uh, actual addition of resistors in a circuit or an electric circuit. And so we'll start with the adding resistors in series. Actually, resistors in series, it simply means actually resistors in one path. Okay, so the equivalent resistance of uh, resistors which are in one path is actually a combination of resistors when they are added in the algebraic sum. Okay, so you actually, when you have resistors in series, you add them. Uh, you find actually the sum of them individually. And so what we are saying is that you actually equivalent resistance would be equal to addition of actually individual resistors. If you have resistor one plus resistor two plus resistor three and so on and so on, you merely add them. So this is how we add the actually resistors in series. Here is a, a network or a circuit where we have a resistor one and resistor two, which are connected in series. And then here we have a battery uh, where there is voltage. You are aware that this is the positive and this is the negative, and you expect current to flow in that direction. And since the current is flowing in one path, it will be the same throughout, but the voltage would be different. Because uh, the total voltage will be actually uh, voltage one here. Uh, and uh, again, we have actually voltage two here. So in other words, what we are saying is that for you to get the equivalent resistance, you merely add the resistors, that is resistor one plus resistor two. And the, the voltage is actually voltage one plus the voltage two. And you are aware that uh, actually voltage one plus voltage two, which is equal to voltage, would be equal to current multiplied by resistor one plus current, which is the same everywhere, multiplied by resistor two. And so, um, uh, so, in other ways, what we are saying is that uh, we are going to have voltage multiplied by uh, okay. In other words, what we are saying is that we are going to have current, common current, multiplied by voltage, which would be actually equal to the current multiplied by resistor one plus the common current multiplied by resistor two. So you notice that here, actually, uh, actually this should be equivalent resistor okay so here we have the equivalent resistor and so if you divide it with current everywhere 
So what you are going to remain here with is actually a, the equivalent resistance will be actually equal to the addition of individual resistors. And so uh, this is the basic uh, equation that is supposed to be known by all students that when you have resistors actually which are connected in series, you merely add them. Okay. Now, uh, if you have parallel resistors in a circuit, all you need to do is actually you get the inverse of equivalent resistance, which will be equal to resistors connected in parallel, which is actually the sum of the inverse of individual resistors. In other words, what we are saying is that you may have the equivalent resistors will be one over equivalent resistors, which is equal to one over resistor one plus one over resistor two plus one over resistor three plus all those resistors. So you may add them like that. And so again here I've given a circuit in which resistors actually are connected in parallel. You have resistor one and resistor two. And here we have uh, the voltage. Here we have the positive and here we have the negative. Okay, and so here we have the negative. And so the flow of current will be in that direction. So part of the current will split here. We are going to have current one and the other current will go that way where we're going to have current two. So in other words, the, the current is actually equal to current one because it splits plus current two. Uh, one thing to note here is that the voltage across the resistors is the same. So voltage across the resistors is actually the same when they are connected in parallel. Okay, in other words, the resistors, the, uh, the voltage in resistor one and the resistor two are the same. Okay, and so uh, what we get then is that uh, uh, for us to be able to get actually the current one would be equal to actually voltage which is similar everywhere over resistor one and current two would be equal to voltage over resistor two and the actual current would be equal to voltage over uh, actually the sum of the, the resistors Okay, the sum of the resistor, which is the equivalent resistor. And so you notice that here, um, if you are to get actually uh, the current, you can say uh, actually voltage over resistor equivalent uh be equal to uh, actually uh, the voltage over resistor one plus the voltage over resistor two. And you notice that here voltage can cancel out. So what we're going to remain is one over equivalent resistance is equal to one over resistor one plus one 
over resistor two. And so this is the basic equation that we need to know that when you are adding actually resistors in parallel, you may get the inverse of the individual resistance. Okay. And so we, for us to cement the understanding of what we are actually outlined as concepts, we'll now go straight into uh, looking at a very basic or very simple question, which I feel we can help us to actually uh, realize the cementing of these uh, concepts. So we are going to, first part of the question is we need to get the equivalent resistance. And the second part is that we can create the current in each resistor. And so here is the network. And so the first thing is that you need to identify uh, the resistors which are actually in series. If you look at the network, we have 25 volts here, 10 ohms, 4 ohms, 4 ohms, 4 ohms, 6 ohms, and 15 ohms. And you notice that uh, these resistors are in series. That is um, this resistor and this resistor and this resistor, they are in series. So you can actually add them. So for us to get the resistor, which is total, for those which are in actual series, we may add resistor one plus resistor two plus resistor three. In our case, all these are four ohms plus four ohms plus four ohms, which gives us actually 12 ohms. And so when we add them, we have added this, then it means that the 12 ohms is going to be parallel to actually the six ohms. So in other words, the network you are going to have now would be such that we are going to have our 25 volts here. And we are going to have this resistor here. And the six and the other resistor there. And the other resistor there. And the other. Resistor. So this one becomes our 12 after adding ohms and this one is 60 ohms and this is 10 ohms and this one is 15 ohms so we know that actually we have added merely added uh, the four ohms another four ohms another four ohms which were in series and then it means that this one would be actually in parallel with the six ohms and so now the second step here is that we have two of these resistors which are in parallel, the six ohms and 12 ohms. You add them. And so what we are going to get is that we have resistor in parallel. Will be equal to one over resistor one plus one over resistor two. So we have two resistors which are in parallel. That is one over one um, one over resistor equivalent is equal to one over. And so uh, what we're going to have is one over resistor in parallel. which will be equal to one over six plus one over 12. And so we can get the common denominator for this, which is 12, let's say six there, it equals actually two 
multiplied by one, which is two plus two into 12. 12 into 12 is one, multiplied by one, which is one. It gives us actually three over 12, which is equal to one over resistor, which are actually RIF. So we can now, we have now uh, found that actually the resistors which are actually parallel would be equal to actually one, uh, which is we got three over actually, three over actually 12. And so here we can cross multiply and what we're going to have is that these resistors which are parallel multiplied by three would be equal to one multiplied by 12, which gives us actually resistors which are parallel, which will give us actually 12 divided by three, which is actually four ohms. And so now what we have is a different network. So now what we have as a network, we are going to have, uh, this is 25 watts. And this is 10 ohms. And uh, here we have created this one. This is 15 ohms. This is the 15 ohms. This is the 10 ohms and this is the four ohms, which we found actually after combining the 60 ohms and the 12 ohms, which were in parallel. And so now for us to get the resistor is equivalent, we notice that actually these resistors now are actually in series, three of them, so we can add them. This is the one plus this is the two and this is the three, which gives us actually 10 plus four plus 15, which actually gives us 29 ohms. So the equivalent resistor is actually 29 ohms. So meaning that we, we have answered the first part of the equation where we are asked to calculate the equivalent resistance. And so now we can calculate the individual currents in each resistor. And so um, for us to be able actually to, we need to know the voltage which is in the, um, which is in these four ohms. Because the voltage in the four ohms would be the same voltage actually, which will be in the six ohm and 12 ohm since these are actually parallel. And therefore we can say, um, uh, voltage in the four ohms would be equal to actually current, equal to current multiplied by actually resistance. And so we need to calculate the overall current. The overall current is actually equal to, uh, the overall current will be equal to voltage over the equivalent resistance, which is equal to the uh, voltage actually, uh, we found that it is actually 20, it's 25, it is actually 25. So it is 25 volts divided by 29 ohms, which gives us actually 0 0.86 two amps.
And so now it means that we are able to get the, the voltage in the four ohms, which will be equal to current multiplied by resistance, which is equal to actually the current we actually got uh, 0 0.862 multiplied by resistor, which is four, which is equal to actually 3.448 volts, which is equal to 3.4, eight volts. You notice that here, actually, the current, uh, which is passing here, is actually the same current as the one which is passing through the 10 ohms. The one which passes through the 10 ohms. It only splits again when it reaches actually this point. So the other current will come this way, and then the other one will go that way. So the current which will pass through the 12 ohms would be the same as the current which will pass through this individual, uh, the, these individual actually resistors, which are each four ohms. But uh, there is a separation of current which will come that way. But the overall current that we have actually uh, produced here, which is, um, 0.82a, it is this one which passes through the 10 ohms as well as the 15 ohms here. But then when it reaches here, it splits, that one goes that one. And this is exactly what we want to, to find. Now that we have known the voltage, and we said the voltage actually for the six, ohms and 12 ohms is the same because they are actually in parallel and therefore we can calculate actually the current so the current in the six ohms will be equal to the current actually in the six ohms would be equal to actually uh, voltage over resistance, which is equal to, remember voltage we found that too, which is the same since they are in parallel with the 12 ohms, eight volts divided by six ohms, which gives us actually uh, zero, point five seven five five amps. Okay, so this is the current which is going to pass through the six ohms. Then the current which is going to pass through the 12 ohms will be equal to actually voltage over resistors, which should be equal to the same voltage because these the six ohms and the 12 ohms are connected in parallel. So you divide 3.448 volts over 12 ohms, which actually gives us in uh, two, uh, zero point two eight seven amps, which is equal to actually zero point two eight seven amps. So this is the current that passes through the twelve ohms. And so we notice that actually this same current is the one which 
once it passes through the four ohms, it is the same current actually which passes through the these three um, resistors, which are four ohms each. And so for us to be able to actually verify that actually this current actually splits, we can actually calculate that the overall current should be actually equal to the current which passes through the six ohms. Because that's where it splits plus the current which passes through the 12 ohms. And you notice that actually this is, is equal to 0 0.57. Five amps plus zero point two eight seven amps, which actually gives us uh, if you add this, actually it gives us uh, zero point eight six two amps. So it actually verifies that uh, the current, which was uh, actually the current, which was uh, actually passing through the, um, the 10 ohms here and the 15 ohms, and then it splits here is actually the same. Because uh, the addition of this current, which is splits here is equal to the actual current which passes actually in that direction. And so I thought today we can look at uh, these uh, equations to enable us to actually calculate the total resistance uh, in series. And so um, these lessons actually they can be live. So those who would want to contact me uh, so that we can have one-on-one -on -one lessons, you can contact me on my WhatsApp number, which is actually 260-977-419-9949. Or you can contact me through my email address, which is actually, all these are small cases, K Skamasaka at Gmail dot com. So I'm available. So we can arrange actually one on one lessons. So uh, thank you. I hope you are going to subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you for listening.